So like, oh my God, I got mac and cheese, bro. It has garlic aioli on it. That's it. <clears throat> Fucking hair on my mouth. Bro, that's got to be one of my nut hairs. Bruh. Bro, the shit motherfuckers be commenting on my videos. I be thinking these motherfuckers some ain't real, bro. Like, y'all can't be real. Motherfucker said, then maybe you need to make more money. I mean, some people pay 80 a month for a cell phone, not for a year a month. Like, I can't even read this shit right because it's fucking typed so incoherently. <laughs> some people pay 80 a month for a cell phone, not for a year a month. And you're bitching about 80 once a year. I think you are just a cheap fuck. And instead of complaining, step your game up. And no, I'm not a cheap fuck. I'm a broke fuck, all right? Get it fucking right. Step your game up. Drive Uber. Get a side hustle. Everyone is struggling, not just you. I get it. It's a lot to pay. It's ridiculous. But when you think about it, it's not uh, it's not totally unreasonable. All I'm saying, like, bro, who the fuck types? Like, like I'm over here, like, confusing myself talking reading this bullshit. You know, I was going to be a grammar police. All the spelling errors. How am I a cheap fuck for trying to defend my right and get mad about something increasing in price at a drastic rate? Sorry, I'm not fucking willing to fucking just spread my fucking cheeks open for Sony and just fucking take it. Whoa, man, you're... You're willing to pay that and you're not going to complain? That's fine. You know, you can be a little fucking Sony cuck. But, you know, some of us, we, we at least want to put our two cents in. I'm not going to cancel my PS Plus subscription, but it's still something as a customer I have the right to talk about, to be honest. My cheeks, they're going to be firm and squeezed in. You're, you're just going to fucking let it fucking come right here to let it fucking Sony just go all up in there. All right, good fucking, good fucking job, man. Nah, man, these fucking Snapple, Snapple, Apple, motherfucker, this shit be hitting. Let me tell you something. That shit is fucking heat. So let me talk about what I really wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about Overwatch. You know, I feel like hate is a very strong word, but I feel like in this scenario, I could use the word hate. I hate Overwatch. Cheese steak, bro. Mayonnaise, cheese, mayonnaise. I feel like I hate Overwatch because at one point I truly loved it. Overwatch took a very large chunk of my life. I can't blame video games. It's obviously my fault. I was morbidly obese for a large portion of my youth. From 19 to 21, I was fucking morbidly obese. I didn't really do anything. I didn't have like a love life. I Bruh. didn't have a social life. I just played Overwatch all day. And that was my fault. But indirectly, a lot of it was because of Overwatch. Fucking, I played, I put like 2,000 hours into that game. All those children I've wasted on Widowmaker, Ash, Diva. I even had a Diva body pillow. It was dark times. Please don't judge me. But dude, just the direction the game has gone, it's just, it's such a slap in the face and it's so disgusting to look at. I feel like a lot of people talk shit about games, but that they usually don't even play the game that they're talking a lot of shit about. It's okay to not like a game and if you never really play it, but I don't think you can truly hate a game unless you've played it a lot. And I fucking hate Overwatch. I literally can't really think of any good memories on the game. It just, everything has gone so downhill. I, I just feel like with the way that they handled it, it just really made me hate the game even more. Like promising us this PVE skill tree and all this fleshed out AI and just all this cool shit just for it to be scrapped. And like, hey, but look, battle pass and fucking, look, we got new skins. Bruh. These weak ass fucking missions, bro. I, I downloaded the game to try out those new missions. Weakest shit ever, bro. We, I just think we need to accept like it was a fucking distraction and Blizzard did this on purpose and we all fell for it. That, that's just how it goes. And it's really sad because Overwatch really did take a huge portion of my life. Like, to say the least, bro. This game consumed me, bro. I, I was obsessed with, like, the lore. I remember I used to fucking, like, come always watch the lore videos. I'd be fucking having debates with people about who would win lore wise, Sigma versus... Like, just stupid shit. And it's like, to see it all go to waste because this game is just being fucking neglected and this game is just being milked, it, it's fucking sad. Like, those new missions are weak as fuck. After you complete it, like, nothing even fucking happens. It just says mission complete, like... And, you know, like, I'm not asking what, for Widowmaker to come out the fucking screen and start giving me a hands off. I mean, that'd be Bruh. nice, but, like, it's just so fucking lame. I used to look up to Cassidy, bro. Like, I remember I used to want my voice to sound like his. Like, he has, like, that cool, like, cowboy voice, like... And I just have, like, this fucking Minecraft YouTuber voice. Yo, what is up, guys? Back at it with another Minecraft video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe fucking insane bro like you tell me castles you don't look like you can pull all the bitches and that's life though i hate overwatch so much